You see these? These are my $800 sunglasses. I bought these my first day in Mexico. Right after I ended my last video, which is called First Impressions of Mexico City. But I didn't include this part in that first video because, well, it's not a very happy story. Let me explain. My first day in Mexico, I bought an $800 pair of sunglasses. You might be thinking that's a complete waste of money. You might be thinking only a fool would pay that much for sunglasses. And you're right. My first day in Mexico City, I was a fool. But not for the reason you think. You see, I didn't actually spend $800 on this pair of sunglasses. I spent 50 pesos, a little less than $3. But I did make an equally expensive blunder. After a full day taking in all the beautiful sights and sounds and tastes of Mexico City, Nari and I decided we would take the subway home. Are we here? Yeah. Now the subway was quite crowded, as you'd expect it to be in a city of 24 million people. And once the doors to the Blue Line train had creaked to a stop, a rush of bodies poured out. And in the same instant, I felt bodies pushing up behind me in what I thought was their haste to get on the train. Now, I had my camera out, so with one hand I gripped my camera, and with the other I tried to grab Nari, who was starting to get pushed away from me in the crowd. We made it on the train just a split second before the doors closed. And we shared a little laugh, you know? A nervous laugh, because we'd never experienced anything like that before. But it wasn't until I got off the train that I realized what had really happened. My phone was gone. My six month old, $800, Galaxy S7 phone was gone. And it, yeah, it, it, it hurts. You know, $800, that, that could have been my budget for the first month in Mexico City. You know, and there, there it is gone in the first day. It hurts. So, you know, when people ask me how my time in Mexico City has been going, I'm tempted to tell them the truth. That the first day in Mexico City, my phone was stolen. But the problem is, this isn't really the truth. Because when I tell people that, they think, oh, Mexico City, what a horrible place. I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna go there. But this isn't the message I wanna share at all. Because on that same day, I tried Mexican tacos for the first time in my life. I had that amazing experience. I was blown away by all the architecture. Look at this place. Where Canada is nothing like that. Like it's incredible. I later that night I had the best churros of my life. And of course, I bought this pair of sunglasses. I got the craziest pair I could find. Black on black. <laughs> the classic. Yeah. So when I think back on my first day in Mexico City, I won't think back on losing that phone. I'll think back on getting a pair of sunglasses for $800. Because much like the tint of your sunglasses can change the way you perceive the world, the stories we tell ourselves can change an experience from negative to positive. And I refuse to let one bad experience change what was a pretty awesome day. I mean, if you watched that last video, you know that, that I had a great time exploring Mexico City. And I'm gonna continue to have a great time exploring Mexico City. Because you know what? Losing a phone sucks. But losing the ability to see Mexico City as a wonderful place, that would be far, far worse. As always guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. Many more videos from Mexico City coming your way. Like a hipster? What if I don't want to look like a hipster? I don't want to be a hipster. <laughs> <laughs>